Tonight, the Fox Files is getting results for a local mom who was told there was no room for her special needs child at school. So she says her six year old has had to stay home while watching other children go to school since last week. She called Fox Files investigator Chris Hayes, who was able to make a difference. Bianca Williams, six year old son, was turned away from school last Monday. He kind of like broke down. He was like, Mom, I want to go to school. It does not sound possible, but check out the text from one of the teachers after being denied the fourth consecutive day. It says, quote, the rooms are full and we have to meet with our director to find out what is going to happen. We have run out of space. They did offer us like a homebound services, but that will only equal one hour per day missed. So it's like for last week, he only got five hours of homebound. William's son has special needs and an IEP, Individualized Education Plan. They need education too, so like what is the, the hold up? Williams lives in the Ferguson Florissant School District, but in St. Louis County, students with special needs go through what's called Special School District. Also called SSD, it's an entity disability advocate Larry Apinski has dealt with. It's a confusing process and there's thousands of employees and in compliance is a continuing issue when you have an organization of that size. Apinski learned about the system when helping his child. Now he advocates for others through his consulting business called STL Advocate. If you're outside of the norm, if you are not just sort of middle of the road and you need extra services, um, both on special needs side and high achieving side, you got to speak up. Williams did. Literally every day, you know, I would wake up, you know, I would go down to the administration building. I honestly call you guys because I'm like, this is weird. You know, it's something is not right. I called the special school district late Monday afternoon and a representative responded immediately, agreeing Williams' son should not be denied services. The district declined to discuss this on camera, but solved this issue within one hour. Literally, when I contacted you guys, I have like the time stamps in my phone. I think it was like 32, like 32 minutes later when I got that call and she told me he can start. It should serve as inspiration to other parents in her community and around the St. Louis area to speak up and know in your gut that things should be a different way and go about the process to do it. For the Fox Files, I'm Chris Hayes.